Quality hide makes the hardiest clothes their own. Don't doubt it. Howdy viewers, Brad Prider of Arsenal Entertainment doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. This time I want to talk about something essential to the game, hunting. Whether it is to provide food for the camp, food for the character, or pelts to complete crafted items from both the trapper and piercing. Some animals are plentiful and others require little work and could be deadly to Arthur or John. I'm going to show you some decent locations to find certain animals and mitigate the deadly animals. First off, if you're going to hunt, one of the best trinkets you can get is the buck antler trinket. And you get it from hunting the legendary buck. That is after Hosea gives Arthur the map from the mission exit pursued by a bruised eagle. The player has a higher chance of receiving perfect quality animal parts. That means better hides and potentially more meat. And even if you pick up a small carcass, small game carcass, it could be a perfect carcass, even though it might say two stars. Now, there are great areas to hunt, and many of them have a variety of game in which you can hunt. If you want to go over to New Hanover and in the Heartland Overflow and in this area that I'm kind of showing, there is a lot of good big game like pronghorn and, you know, bucks and even bison. And also, if you're by Emerald Ranch, you can kind of poach cows and sheep and goats. Good variety of animals in this area. And the next area you want to go to and has a lot of good hunting, Dewberry Creek and the old Green Bank Mill area where you can get a opossum. But if you hunt at night, Dewberry Creek has plenty of raccoons, skunks, um, muskrat, deer, coyotes. Yeah, there is a lot of animals in this area to hunt. The next area is over here by Lake Oangela. Beaver. Uh, foxes, snakes, up in this area by the trapper, plenty of big game, cougars, bears, all kinds of things. And it's also by the legendary buck area where you can hunt and get that buck antler trinket. This is a great area to hunt. And then the trapper's right nearby. Then you go further north, and north of Hanging Dog Ranch, there is wolves and grizzlies, and in this area, there is plenty of elk, deer, and a variety of smaller game. Again, it's plenty of good hunting area to where you can get pelts and stuff that you need. And even in the Little Creek River area, there is, again, good hunting, and again, these are great hunting areas. And if you go over further east, all the way far east, there is this area, Brandy Wine Drop and Willard's Rest area. This area, bear, moose, elk, deer, cougars even. Yeah, there is a lot of good hunting in this area. Most animals are going to yield a type of meat, but the best meat is big game meat. And that is gotten from wolves, cougars, alligators, black bears, and grizzlies. You pair big game meat with certain spices, such as minty 
big game meat. And what will happen is Arthur's health core will go gold. And that is for 24 hours is minty big game meat. And as you see, his core is going gold, his health core. And that helps. Next would be oregano big game meat. And Arthur cooks that. His stamina core will go gold. And that is, again, something that will happen for 24 hours. Finally, there is thyme, thyme big game meat. And, of course, that naturally raises Arthur's dead eye core to gold. And all these are for 24 hours after Arthur is done eating. Three big steaks of this meat a day will keep John and Arthur healthy. Bats aren't real essential. I think there's only one item you craft with them. But there is the hunting request. And you can hang around the abandoned church to the south of Bolger Glen, one or two, sometimes a swarm, but if you use the um, deer antler trinket, chances are if you kill a few of them, at least one of them is going to be a three-star carcass. And that is pretty much what you need for the hunting request. Didn't get exactly what I was looking for, but on to the next bat hunting location. The next is there is a waterfall by the Elysium Pool, and there is a hidden cave behind it. Sometimes you can, like right now, see there's potentially a bat carcass on the ground, and it might be a perfect bat carcass. And further in, if you go further down the path, I'm going to see if I can pick up this bat carcass. And sure enough, in this muddy water is a perfect bat carcass. This would be good for the hunting request. Now, if you go further up the trail, there is a large cavern which could be filled with potentially needed bats. And here we have a another little brown bat. Uh, our, John picked it up. Oh, two of them. They're just good bat carcasses. Again, the buck antler trinket, you might get a perfect one. Who knows? Nope. But let's go further up the trail here. And I want to get John to have a... Ah, damn it. Okay, now let's get back here. Right here, you can see the cave area. And if you go further back in the cave area, there is some bats. Let's try this again. John has his, um, whatchamacallit, lantern. So let's go further back into the cave.
as you saw, there are a ton of bats flying around. You could just shoot as many as you can uh, have bullets for. Again, you might get a perfect bat carcass just using the buck antler trinket. Now, let us discuss beavers. You can usually find a beaver on the shores of the Kamasa River near where you hunt the legendary beaver and the beaver dam. It can be a three star like this one. You just want to use the varmint rifle. I want to get a good shot at them. And yep, I got a three star beaver. Okay, again, on the map here, right by the Kamasa River, and this is where you hunt the legendary beaver. This is where you can potentially get a three-star beaver. Other great place to hunt beaver and apparently moose. Damn, wish I had a better gun. Anyway, on the southern shores of Lake Oangela, there is... A beaver could be three star. There's sometimes multiple beavers. If you need a three star pelt, this is a good place to look. That was weird. Apparently I can hunt wolves swimming in Lake Oangela. I had never, wow. And it is only a good wolf pelt, so I really don't care about it. I want the big game meat, and I'm going to go back and get the beaver pelt. Sometimes you just got to be on the far east end of Lake Oangela. And there are, are beavers hanging out right there. And you don't have to worry about wandering around the entire southern end of Lake o Oangela. You just take a beaver and, yep, three star, shoot them, and that's all you need. Beavers are used a lot by the Trapper and Pearson for crafting. So having a lot of beaver pelts helps. Again, right here. Lake Oangela, great place to hunt beavers and to fish. Another animal is a black bear. And to be honest with you, black bears don't attack Arthur or John, even when they're riding horses. They'll freak out the horse. And black bears are far more common than grizzlies. So you might be able to shoot a three-star black bear just riding around. Now, I'm just taking a look where this bear potentially is, and I'm not going to hunt him. If I can see him, the horse is freaked out. There he is. I'm trying to get a beat on him. But reality is, a black bear does not attack you. You can walk up to them even. We're fine. Anyway. Cougars, on the other hand, do attack, and this one scares me. The black bear ran, ran away from the cougar. Yeah, and the cougar, again, this one scares me. Oh. Easy now.
Well, the Cougars is another rider's problem. I think I can move forward here. This is actually the Brandywine Drop Willard's Rest area. And again, you can do Black Bear. Cougars are around here sometimes. Mainly moose and elk, which I will be dealing with shortly. So I'll show you where I was on the map here. Again, it's the Brandywine Drop Willard's Rest area. Place where you can for sure get a black bear is be south of Moon Moonstone Moon Glow Pond and near the smashed cabin. Let's see if there is a bear. A bear. Where is the bear? Um yeah, I think I there is the bear. He's only a two-star. I'm not gonna take a risk. The only way really to understand to have a three-star pelt for sure is to shoot a three-star animal properly. But again, the buck antler trinket helps out. Out of all the large predatory animals, a black bear will not attack you. Again, I just walked right up to him. Even though I had a bow out, many animals it doesn't deter. So let's move on to a cougar. Oh, and show you on the map, Moonstone Pond, Flattened Cabin. This area just kind of to the southeast is where you can find a black bear. And now let's get back to a cougar. A cougar, in order to mitigate the risk to John or Arthur, has to be baited and brought out to where you can get a good shot. And I'm right here, um, just south of the trapper. This is a good area. I've already killed a few pigs and stuff in this area. But I'm going to drop out some animal bait. And I'm going to try and drop out some predator bait. And hopefully I can bring a cougar out in the open. You want to use cover scent as well. Your pain is over. For some reason, cougars are really another animal that John or Arthur has to hunt in order to craft stuff with the Trapper and Pearson. I'm going to show you where I hunted, where I put the bait here, and eventually shot the cougar. A poison arrow to the head is better, but I'm right here on the map, just kind of southeast of the Trapper. Black Bone Forest, this area again, really great place to hunt animals. Okay, this is over by the Willard's Rest Brandywine Drop area. I was trying to get a moose to spawn, but instead a Rocky Mountain Bull Elk, Three Star Elk. Elk are not too widely used by the Trapper, 
but you don't want to pass up a three-star pelt, in, in all honesty. So, I don't see any moose around, but I do see that elk, and I definitely want to take that three-star elk pelt. Later on, I'll show you how to actually get a moose. Again, I was trying to get a moose, doing some saving, reloading, ended up with an elk. Not going to complain. Okay, this next area is for grizzlies, and I'm going to let the train run my horse over before I take you to hunt grizzlies. Yep, there goes my horse. What fun. So after John gets off of the train here and gets back to his horse, who is surprisingly undamaged, we're going grizzly hunting. And we're up here by, I think it's Wallace Station, and just north west of Wallace Station is a perfect place for a grizzly. And I guarantee you it spawns 100% of the time even when you don't expect it. And I'll show you on the map here, Wallace Station, and the place I'm going to head to right here is a, a burnt out, abandoned chimney cabin, but I'm gonna ride up next to it on the road and walk in. <laughs> Okay, well, usually you got to be by the chimney and you can spot the bear. He was by the road and he's coming. Better get out the shotgun with slugs. This is not going to be a perfect carcass. Okay, I'm surprised the horse did not throw, John. And this is going to be a poor carcass. And I'm just going to take it for the meat because big game meat is good meat. I'm going to actually walk John to the area where you should be and where you should be able to find a bear perfect or at least close to perfect and not be so dramatic about things. This is actually the area if you go to where John is running this chimney area and if you went behind the chimney usually there is a bear grizzly hanging out and you can take it down. Obviously it's spawned by road and so John doesn't have to worry about hunting it. This is also a great place to find some herbs. Another great grizzly spot to hunt is north of Hangdog Ranch. I am not going to use poisoned arrows. I'm just going to use handguns. It's only a two-star grizzly. And again, you want the meat at times more than you want the pelt. And yeah, took multiple shots to bring it down. Again, not going to enjoy the pelt, but if you look on the map, north of Hang Dog Ranch here, um, you can see where John is and another good place to hunt grizzlies. I showed you an elk, but I was trying a different way to get a moose. And it didn't work as well, but now I'm going to camp. And what you want to make sure is you are on the west side of the river, which is where John has established camp. And i got to do an annoying autosave. But you want to sleep until morning, then get up and 
ride over the railroad bridge and you should see a moose. Okay, John is tearing down the camp and right here I'm going to show you on the map where John is located. You want to be on the west side of the river by Willard's Rest Brandywine Drop and you run up to the railroad tracks and you cross the bridge you should see a moose. You might have to save and reload uh, before you sleep but either way there's a moose. I can see it and again it should be a ah, damn it okay a ooh, a western bull moose it got scared but it's time to hunt a moose Moose, by the way, are used more in crafting than elk. But this is also a great area to get elk, as I pointed out. And all you got to do is manipulate the saves, sleeping and saving. More than likely, you're going to spawn a moose. Next is panthers. And panthers are far more dangerous than cougars. Uh, yeah, where I'm going to hunt the panther, they actually spawn fairly regularly, almost to a point where they are a nuisance, but yeah, at least they're there, and it pops up quite frequently. You just have to properly bait it. Sometimes they're there even when you are not hunting them or trying to bait them, and they just pop up. Now, first thing you want to do is nearby, you want to kill a deer. And right now, John is going to do that. And it does not matter the quality of the deer. It can be a one star, two star, three star, don't matter. You just want to shoot a deer. Whoa, now. Yeah, I did not properly shoot that deer, should have headshot it, and now I gotta kill it and carry its carcass to the place where I will be baiting and hunting a panther. Now I'm coming to this area and I'm going to check with Eagle Eye to make sure there are no panthers actually already here. Again, John has been ambushed, Arthur's been ambushed multiple times by Panthers when they were in the area and I didn't see them. I kind of double check. You pick up the deer carcass and you set it off to the, again, I'm checking. Yeah, you set it off the road slightly. You see a rotting deer carcass there. I tried before. But for some reason, it didn't work. I think I had killed a panther already. But now you put some cover scent on and you drop some predator bait along with the deer carcass and you wait. Oh, I got some potent predator bait. Nope. There. Potent predator bait. This should work out real well. And predator bait, yeah. It's been a while since I was through this way. Not much changed.
poison arrow to the head, and now it's a three-star panther pelt. So let's move on to another animal, the possum. I did a video a while back showing where you can get a possum for sure, not necessarily a three-star possum, but it spawns by Old Green Bank Mill here, by Dewberry Creek, and yeah. Again, might not be a three-star possum, but sure enough, there he is glowing, and it's only a one-star. I'm not going to shoot it because I really don't need possum meat. And possums are actually used a lot by the trapper for crafting certain items. But this is, again, the best place to get a possum. Guaranteed old green bank mill. If you kill the possum and came back a day later, it won't spawn. If you kill a possum, you got to wait at least three days. But on to a bonus animal, a rattlesnake. Usually in the morning on the northwestern part of Lake Owangila by the river, by the waterfall, and the gold hunter, is going to be a rattlesnake resting on a rock. Real easy to shoot it, get it, and I can tell you it's not 100% that the rattlesnake will be there, but this case it is, and I want to make sure I get a great, perfect shot. And it's moving around, yep, use dead eye, and bang. We should be able to get a perfect rattlesnake skin out of this. There you go, perfect skin. Now on to the final animal, wolves. Now this area, I know for sure wolves 100% spawn. I'm going to try and lure them out with predator bait to mitigate their attack on John. But to be honest with you, um, yeah, this doesn't work out too well. Now I'm going to have John climb up on top of this rock for safety and hopefully the wolves will take the bait.
that didn't work out quite as planned. This area, though, I guarantee you wolves will always spawn, and usually four or five of them. Poison arrows, great way to deal with them. The best way to get them to spawn is to ride through the area on your horse with poison arrows and just shoot them and harvest them after that. Settle yourself. If you poison an animal and let it die due to poison, you lose honor. You have to go and kill the animal that is whining. Usually if you get them in the head, poison arrow kills them instantly, anywhere in the body, and yeah. Oh uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Don't know if I'm going to get a perfect pelt. Usually I can get about... There's a suffering wolf, a good pelt. I'll drop it, and I'll take care of this wolf, and then I'm going to fast forward through the harvesting of the animal. Like I said, kill the wolf. Oh, yeah, it's a three-star wolf, and I got a three-star pelt. Wolf pelts, for some reason, are used a lot within the game, and wolves are very, for some reason, important to this game. John doesn't like them in particular. Actually, I think I got three or two or three three-star pelts. And wolves are used a lot in Red Dead Redemption for crafting. On the map here, north of Hanging Dog Ranch, I guarantee you wolves will always spawn when you ride through. And it's four or five of them, a lot of them. There's also bear, grizzly in this area. You can see them in the background. But, yeah. This is a good area to get large predators, and they do spawn quite reliably. If you killed off the wolves and left three days later and came back, you would get more wolves. If you found this video informative and you like it, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post video game related videos Monday through Friday on this channel and you don't want to miss out. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.